Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are for some more modern action. Now, we're playing another of the Mythic Championship decks. This one is a Mono Red Phoenix deck, as it is called. I also have seen it called Mono Red Prowess. Things like that. So, interesting deck playing uh, Finale of Promise alongside our Arc Lights. One Bedlam Reveler. Of course, Lava da Darts, Gut Shots, Lava Spikes. Lightning Strike or Bolt. Metamorphos, and then we have Monastery, Swift Spears, Soul Scar Mages, some Light Bestages, Faithless Lootings, of course, best card in modern. Or so it feels. A Blood Moon. And then we got 18 lands. Now, this list was piloted by. Okay. Um, I'm not. It is this one right here by. Juan Jose Rodriguez Lopez. Yep. So that was the one. And he got, it looks like, 7th place, technically. I mean, it's 5th through 8th, but... Yeah. So, uh, his list, of course, was playing regular mountains. For whatever reason, I don't have... 15 of the same color or same art mountain that I want to play. So we're playing snow-covered mountains instead. I don't think it makes a difference. Uh, three Sunbait Canyons. Sideboards where things get interesting. So Dragon's Claw, pretty sweet. I'm assuming Mirror Match Burn, stuff like that. Coast Looks Return, no. It's a speed, does some good stuff. Second part of it doesn't do anything. Uh, Sahili Sublime Artificers, two of them. Pretty nice. An Alpine Moon for against Tron. Some of Braids, Shenanigans for Artifact decks, Hardened Scales, and the like. Two Shrines of Burning Rage. Uh, I've watched videos, a couple of the matches we've played against this deck. That's pretty much been the card that's beat us. Uh, three Tormont's Crypts, and then the Ravenous Trap as the fourth Graveyard Hate card. Um... Now, of course, we are playing Blood Moon, so we can just sometimes win matches where uh, our opponents don't really have good mana. Uh, you know, sometimes Chun just can't play through them, stuff like that. So we're going to play some matches here. Um, much like the Hogak deck, I don't have much uh, faith in this deck. This deck seems like a deck that you got to really play a lot to kind of get used to. I played one match with it. Went all right. I won. I did the thing with Phoenixes and Finale and stuff. But still not super sold on it. So we'll see. Anyway, we'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back, everyone. Here we are. All right, we're going to mulligan this hand. Um, it doesn't really do much. All right. This one's better. A little bit slow. But... we we'll put the Soul Scar Mage on bottom. Hmm. Ruh -ruh Raggy. Looks like the mirror match. Looks like ye old mirror match. Yep, lava spike me. We'd much rather see them just have two burn spells here than anything else. Take three there. All right, we're gonna go. Hit you for two. Light up the stage. Yeah, the the sequencing here ha isn't fun. All right. 
Although I think if we survive this turn, I think we're in good sh in a good spot. Hardcast light up the stage. Oof. Well, they get to kill both our creatures and hit us for a lot. Oh no, they can just kill us. I'm stupid. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. Alright, well that was, uh... Yeah, I think we were... I think they were dead on the untap. On our untap, anyway. They didn't kill us there. Um... Alright, so... Dragon's Claw. I mean... Hmm. Maybe Shrines. Well, Lava Dart's a free spell. So the only card I know we want is this. I can see cutting a Lava Dart for it. Oh, no. Let's start by cutting Blood Moon, because I forgot that was in the deck for a second. Alright, then... Hmm. I cut two of these. Maybe like that. Admittedly, I'm not sure. This is... Uh, it's hard to sideboard with a deck you're not super familiar with in the first place. But it's even harder to sideboard with a deck in the mirror match that you're not familiar with. But I think that's what we're going to do. Let's just submit that. And we'll play first. Mirror Mulligan. Let's have better. Um, I'm just gonna put the Phoenix on bottom. I mean, if we had. If we had a uh... yeah. they can still have bolt here. Really no. Alright. Well next year is gonna be a fun one. Especially if we draw land. Dragon's Claw. All right. Mm-hmm. Resolves. All right. So we're gonna get gain some life here. I would rather have drawn a land than that second Soul Scar Mage. Getting to cycle off a bunch of Metamorphos seems pretty good. Yep. Yep, taking it. With them having five cards in hand, there's no real advantage to us not or to us blocking. We kill the second one, we're in trouble. Yeah. 
Yep. So the thing is, they're gaining one life, but this each instance of this is creating two damage. Red, red. Red, red again. Yep. Yep. Well, I mean, I felt like that was a pretty good turn. Now we just gotta hope it was, we gotta hope we draw into something else good enough to win the game. So lava darts neutral with the dragon's claw. What it's gonna do extra, uh, so it'll do four points of damage essentially. Which is pretty good. Four points of damage is pretty good. But. Okay. Son of a bitch. All right, now I think we're dead. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to lava dart them. Oh, they had, I didn't even realize they had a lava dart in their graveyard. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try this again. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, here we are on the play for round number two. Um. I don't like this hand. This hand looks... I mean, I go turn one Soul Scar, turn two, spike and attack with Soul Scar, and that's like it. Alright, this hand looks better. Put the Phoenix on the bottom because we're not casting anytime soon. Maybe it would have been better to put Finale. I don't know. All right, thankfully not a mountain. Spirits or Merfolk? All right, Lightning Bolt. Well, that's a Lightning Bolt, technically. What? Huh? Alright guys, time out. Hold on. Did someone explain what just happened? 
Can someone please? Anyone? If you're watching this video right now, pause it. Go into the comments. Explain to me what this is. Someone. Anybody. And at this point, I mean it. Anybody. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe that was a little too aggressive. Whatever. There it's seven. Um, I have questions, many of which I don't expect answers to, but all of which I'd like answers to, starting with, what? Huh? And ending with why. Our opponent doesn't know what they're doing either. Sure. Hmm. Loot. Ho what? They're playing a deck with not two, but three of that card? Holy crap. What? I mean... I think I'm done. I don't even want to record the rest of this video. This is what in the world? Is this like Merfolk but playing Silent Submarine? Because if it is, that sounds terrible. Bring these in. I'm gonna bring these in. I think I'm gonna bring these in. I'm gonna cut you. I. Um, you don't seem great. Cut one more. Maybe I don't want Kozlux to turn. Maybe maybe I'm okay without it. Let's try without it. We got so much removal. Alright guys, if someone can explain to me what that is. Like uh, is this is this a new thing? Is this is this something that people are actually doing? Is it just a I'm gonna keep it. Better lucky than good. Also note we can finally promise to cast these two back on three if we want to. Um, let's 
so I am actually I'm not gonna gut shot this turn I'm gonna gut shot next turn most likely um, which is funny because depending on what they do the uh, deal one damage clause is, uh, is pretty effective Ithra. Putting chump into play, it looks like. <sighs> yeah, what well, they reveal. Y'all making me do things I don't want to do here. What? No crew? Are oh, you just going to crew off that, I guess? Doesn't make sense. Oh, you're not gonna crew at all. I'm an idiot. Why would you want to crew? My stuff just kills yours. That's yeah. Duh. That was dumb. Second item. Oh, gotcha. All right. Let's loot. Oh, wait, do we have a land drop this turn? No, we don't. Okay. Well, I was really hoping they were going to crew. I'm going to kill this. Yeah, I was really hoping they were going to crew it. I'm trying to get cutesy. But I guess not. I guess they fought that urge. Yep. Silver Gale revealing Harbinger. That's annoying. Let's bounce one of our soul scars. That's interesting. All right, so I guess if I kill this, do I actually want to cast this? I guess I do for the extra trigger. Plus, this gets back Arclight Phoenix, so I guess I have to. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. This. I'm so sorry. This is the worst commentary ever. <laughs> oh my god. That's like the worst faithless looting play you could ever make. It's just no cards in it. I'm just going to discard some cards and get three prowess triggers. <sighs> oh my god. And we just get back two phoenixes. <laughs> Uh, Harbinger ain't gonna do nothing there. Ooh. Yeah, I can still bounce the Soul Scar Mage and block one, but you still take six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and go to two with two Phoenixes. <sighs> All right. <laughs> ah, this is why you don't. I, I mean, I don't. I don't know why you register Silent Submarine, Submersible, whatever. All right. All right, guys, sorry about that. I'm sorry. I'll be fine for the next round. I'll be fine. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Welcome, everyone. Here we are. Um, so this is 
is tough. We only have 18 lands. I'm gonna keep it, I think. If we're on the play, I think I'd mulligan, but on the draw, I think I'll keep it. Is, is it Phoenix? Is it? That joke was terrible, I'm sorry. I appreciate this art being an FM or this card being an FM promo because it made it so that, uh. Woof. Yeah, let's do that. Next turn we'll try to play the Faithless Loon and try to hit a land. I mean... Let's fly up the stage. Woof. All right. Yep. We've gotten to look two, three, four more cards deep, and we still haven't got it. That's pretty rough. I mean, next turn... If we draw a land, we're in great shape, I think. Maybe not great shape, maybe just good shape. Womp, womp, womp. Alright, now we're in terrible shape. All right, make double red. All right. So at least this way, if we get hit by a... If, when they flip this and they hit us for seven, we'll still get a Faithless Looting pitch these two, hopefully find a third land, and end the game. Actually, we don't even have to find a third land. We can actually do it with what we have. Yeah, we're at, we actually do it with just what we have in our hand. We go Faithless, discard Arc Light, Arc Light, Arc Light Lava Dart, Flashback Lava Dart, kill him. Yeah. Unless, obviously, they kill us this turn. Faithless. Play. Faithless. Yep. I mean, they had a surgical. To be fair, there we could have just also just Swiss spear, six you. So, I right, we could just double bolt, darted, I guess too. Alright, 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 alright. So. Hmm. We don't really have... Hmm. 
I don't even really have a good way of like combating this. I guess I mean Dragon Claw's not terrible, but the problem is it doesn't actually do anything to like I don't think them killing us is what we gotta worry about. They'll eventually do it, but it's not gonna be quick. So Healy's tokens just get bounced. A braid doesn't kill any of their stuff. Shenanigans won't kill any of their stuff. Alpine Moon doesn't matter. Tormont's Crypt could be good against their Phoenixes, but... It's gonna run back like this. Alright. I'm in. I think Shrine of Burning Rage is... I mean, they could have a braid, so I guess maybe it might not be good enough, but. Alright. I forgot that was in our deck. Well, maybe they'll have nothing but dual hands. <laughs> Maybe we'll uh, accidentally get them because they'll have nothing but uh, shock lines. No? You guys don't think that'll happen? You got no faith in me, huh? Got no faith, huh? Alright. Hey, look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Third land. <laughs> no force negation, please. No braid, please. Okay. It's not in the braid. All right, please don't faithless into the Serum Visions discarding Arc of Phoenix. All right, Serum Visions. We're not in the clear. No. Nah. There's a phoenix. Jesus. How many phoenixes? This blood moon could be a ravenous trap, and we'd be golden right now. Alright, just one phoenix. That's beatable. I don't think it's worth it trying to pinch him. Do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, me either. I guess maybe we could have instead blasted the Phoenix. I don't know, maybe pinching them on blues, right? No, actually, we're gonna get an island here. So we're dead, right? That's game? There's no way we're winning now? I pretty much agree, opponent. Yep. Red, red.
And maybe if somehow they don't manage to flip their uh, thing in the ice, maybe we can do this. Cast one more skill and we'll just go in the spell and we'll go to the next game. Yep. Yeah, I mean, two turns later we might. Nah, we're dead. Alright, um, yeah, Blood Moon is out. Bring in that. Let's try that. I guess maybe there we saw a lot more red spells. Maybe this is good too. Let's try that. We didn't see anything we wanted our braids against. I mean, they have Phoenix, obviously, but... Alright, we'll keep this, put a mountain on bottom, I guess. Yeah, this dragon skull, this dragon skull is going to really do a lot of work. That's technically something good. You have a spell pierce something upon it? No, okay. Uh -huh. Alright. Alright. Out of gas. This is part of this loop of hundred metamorphos. Yeah, now now this is the part where we die. Yeah. I guess we don't just concede yet. Their whole deck's cantrip, so of course they're gonna find what they need. Ugh. Yeah. Yep. I mean, admittedly, I hope they weren't gonna have their. Uh, I'm gonna have the upgrade on turn two, but yeah. I guess let's see. I think we're done. I don't. I'll take one more draw step, but then I'm gonna concede if we don't draw something like phenomenal. Yeah, 
yeah. I mean, there's whole deck to just literally a bunch of spells that cycle. back in just a minute. Alright, welcome back. We're on the mulligan. Uh, I guess we keep it and put one of these duplicates. Faithful suitings to the bottom. Brombe Jr. I recognize that. Uh, I recognize that name. We played against uh, this individual before. Woof. Jund. It's Jund. Yeah, now we're dead. Yeah, we got we got nothing going on here. I mean next year we can technically mana morphos try and draw a card to get us out of this, but or get us something else, but As for control, oh no, they're polymorph. Yep, I'm done. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could, uh... So, alright, here's the problem. They probably have Polymorph in hand. Which means next time they're going to get Emrakul back. Which means... We die. They're at nine. Well, we can kill them from here. Shells down. All right. So we got, you cost us two red. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong to play that. I don't know. Ugh. Yeah. 
Um, although to know, Finale Promise was a good draw. Right. Blood Moon, they have a bunch of basics, doesn't seem great. Revelor doesn't seem great. I don't think we have anything else to really bring in. I. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I guess Kozilix return because their plan's tokens. And if we can destroy all their tokens before they get to polymorph them. I guess. Uh, Alright, I'm going to try this. This ham might be able to do something if we can get a little lucky. shouldn't be great against uh, it just literally killed us in one turn that's, uh, that's awesome in case anyone's wondering that is exactly how I drew it up two lands let me guess Well, one land in a gut shot, but that's not that big of a deal. Trigger, not Bedlam, Faithless. Uh, shoot you. Shoot you. Just that that ley line just did it. Yeah. Well, I got the feeling we're going to die to a polymorph here. Sure. Yep, if this was a lightning bolt, we'd actually be able to win the game. Alright. Yeah, our kept the opening hand, hoping, not expecting a ley line. I mean, ley line's not bad against us. It starts off a lot of stuff, but. Yep, alright. We'll be back in just a minute. Welcome, everyone. I decided we're going to go ahead and play, uh, play the last match out. Might as well. 
Um, we're one and three. Still, two three gets us at least fifty play points. So I'm gonna keep it. Uh, Santa doesn't seem great. I shouldn't have kept it. I don't want. Ah, oh, God, why did I keep his hand? We shouldn't have kept it. If we had a second creature, this would be a better hand of kept, but it's just not a good keep. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, that makes it a little better, I guess. No, I cast a stupid card. Just. Stop doing stuff. Okay. That's cool. Red, red. Last turn. See what you got, opponent. Fine, you gotta go to five to do that. You put yourself down to a I have to double block next turn because my fiery illets kill me. So, yeah, even if they go, all right, I mean, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Yep, double triggers. Ooh, that's a good one. pitch my folks apparently a popular deck these days right uh-huh resolve it Uh, yeah, I guess I could have waited till they go to adapt it. But whatever. Uh, 
Oh, you know what? That was bad. I should have waited till the next turn to be able to light up the stage again. Yeah, also would have shut off Fiery Illit. That was bad. Alright, let's... Some Braids, some Kozilix Returns. Blood Moon out. Bedlam. Meh. Shroom like a gut shot and a dart? Maybe? Most our creatures survive the Kozilek's return because of prowess. Um, obviously, Phoenixes don't, which sucks. To be fair, if we're getting Phoenixes back, we're probably already winning, though. So Healy does just put a bunch of blockers down in front of him. Eh, let's just run it back like this. I don't, I don't want you to do anything else really. All right, this hand looks pretty good. Apparently we draw, we could have a very crazy turn too. I mean, it's super crazy turn too. Turn one vial from them would be good, but. Not quite gonna facilitate the ooh. So Spear won't quite facilitate the bonkers turn two play I was hoping. Reveal. Nope. Chow's on one. Womp womp womp. Hmm. Alright. Yep. Obviously not exactly what I want to be doing, but um, until we draw a braid, that chalice has got us pretty locked out here. Check out maybe the fact that we have chalice as an argument for not doing that. I'm gonna fire eel it. Yep. Yep. Alright, we need some good stuff. Soul Scar Mage is the opposite of good stuff. Although, if we land off top next turn, we'd actually be pretty good. I mean, we gotta start slamming these Phoenixes into play. Yep. So something's a little awkward to me is last is on that turn too. If uh, Faithless Losing was say worded like Cathartic Reunion where it's an additional cost, that would actually be great for us. Mm. Yep.
Chalice of the Void out of the Merfolk sideboard. All right. Land. All right. I mean, if they don't have any interaction to interact with our Arclight Phoenixes and don't have double lore, we win. Which I know, given the Merfolk deck, that is a ton to ask for. Please don't have a second lord. Alright, so... I think trimming some of our worst one drop cards is better. Now that we've seen chalices, even though we are bringing in shenanigans. One mole on the sand just doesn't do anything. That sounds okay. I think we're likely to find something to play. You know, they got a spell pierce too, and I'd rather them have to. There we go. I'd rather them have to pitch a card here to get us with. to counter it than. not. Yep. How many copies of this are you guys pl are you playing upon it? Like, how many of these lines are you playing? Of course we do. Of course we draw a stupid ass Swiss Fear right after they play Chalice on one. Uh, I still think it was right to abrade the Aether Vial. Oh yay, Merfolk Trickster! Yeah, I'm I'm a little irritated that we're gonna lose this stupid Chalice of the Void. This card that I think is so stupid for Merfolk for Merfolk to be playing. Alright, anyway, we're done. I'm not gonna waste I'm not gonna waste your guys' time anymore. Yep. Alright. So this leak wasn't very good. Um We gotta see the power of the deck in match one and in match two. Uh match two from our own side and match one from our the mirror match. 
I mean, the deck's pretty cool. The deck's clearly got some power. We've lost to it quite a few times in videos. I don't know. It, it just it felt so meh at so many different points in the game. Like, it, the power it has is clear. It can have these busted, super strong draws. But at the same time, it has some, like, less than good feeling draws a lot of the times. And it really feels like it's a deck if you don't have one drop in your well, one drop creature in your opening hand, it's just not very good. And I don't know. I like the deck. It's pretty fun. Um, I can see its power. It's got a lot of good synergy with the Phoenixes. Lava Dart I think is a really good addition. Uh, Finale Promise is really good when it gets to go off. But yeah. I mean I can see why it did well. Anyway. Um, uh, I did enjoy playing it, even though we did terribly. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys at least learned a little bit from it and saw kind of what maybe makes a deck good. There were plenty of games that we lost that came down to the wire and the deck was doing really well. Um, that last match against Merfolk was pretty awful. I guess I shouldn't have, maybe shouldn't have abraded the Aether Vial. Maybe I should have held it in case they had a child someone. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys next time.